Hello everyone, my name is Yapir and today we are doing Loot Puffer Supply Doctrine Guide. So it was re recently reworked, a few people, me included, on, were complaining on the forums that this doctrine is not as good as the others and suggested few changes. <coughs> And we have this doctrine today and post changes, obviously. And what's good for? I played quite a few games with it now, by now, and it's really good early game. This is where this doctrine shines. It helps you push off the ally early aggression. Maybe they wanted to rush you, push you off board really quickly. And second thing is endurance, endurance races, where you are constantly losing manpower and you just want to have a little bit more. It's good, as said, in the early game, has solid infantry, solid late game, and the only flaws are that it has a mild mid-game, nothing besides Panzer IV, and it's super ammo intense, like no matter how much munitions you have, you will spend it all. I played one game when I had two ammo caches, and still I just spend it all. <coughs> First ability that's most interesting to us is airdropped medical supplies, this heals your infantry really really quickly it's very cost effective and it also gets you a buff for your infantry so they are they have a little bit better survivability uh, i'm not sure how much it is precisely because no tooltip in the game says that so the second most important ability is supply drop zone this will allow us to make machine guns and packs for a very cheap price and it also will get a small amount of munitions and fuel Third best thing about this doctrine is Luftwaffe Field Officer. He's a very beefy unit on its own, plus he will be supporting our troops. He has a very wide range of abilities. Smoke, Inspiration, Diversion, Recon and Suppression Run if it's on that one. It's the same Suppression Run that the Soviet paratroopers have, just you have a German plane instead of a Soviet one. The second, the two last abilities are Incendiary Bombing Run. This is highly disappointing, we'll be probably not using that, and it's not very cost effective, and the second is heavy bombing run, <clears throat> it's a huge motherfucking punch, it can one shot SU-85 or tanks of its size, so really, if you manage to immobilize some tanks with it, you can just take them off the board, if you can just afford the price, and yeah, uh, what do we want to do with it, basically, most standard Panzer, slow Panzer IV as you can get, which means uh, some grants and off its uh, machine gun pack and then you'll just buy a tank. And you may say, this is the most basic thing the Germans can do, what, why is that a part of the doctrine? And Luftwaffe Supply Doctrine works like a huge panic button. If you fucked up your early game, uh, you were rushing a Panzer IV and they ca caught you off guard, you can just smack that button and uh, work your way. <coughs> and where does it shine? It's the early game, when you need a second building and a pack, the enemy has armor, you want to counter it, and to get that pack, you need a next battle phase, that's a hundred, you need another building, that's another hundred, you need a pack, that's a three, three hundred, and you need a med bunker, just because you need to heal your guys, German infantry is so fragile that you cannot afford losing health points on your guys, you need a hospital, and that all this, these costs that you have to buy, because otherwise you will lose the game, is almost 700 monies, this is enough to buy uh, three grenadier squads. This is a huge amount of cash and uh, Luftwaffe supply can just counter it. It can get you a fucking pack with, without any purchase, any additional buys and it's cheaper and you can drop yourself medical supplies which can really last you a while if you use them well. So let's take a look on our example game and I'm playing here in the blue, uh, my teammate is yellow, he, he was a fairly good player. The British is on the offense, he's in purple, and Soviets will be defending against me. I'm doing the most standard thing for the Germans, let's just drop ourselves a fucking bank barracks, my teammate does that so, Soviets go penal, and the British are doing some fancy opening with a mortar, let's take a look. Seems that they want land lease, and next they will buy assault infantry. They have engineers, infantry sections, and a mortar. Uh, yellow is going machine gun, so he might get countered there. 
and we are just making grenadiers because we just want a solid infantry core. Uh, also, we we don't know what Soviets are doing if they went like for a fucking snipers, sniper. And if I had a machine gun, that would be in the disadvantage, or maybe a mortar, you know. So anyway, we are making plenty of grenadiers. My pioneers secure here territory. I hold this building and I wonder to see what's happening in the mid. My pioneers run into conscripts. They have to back off. British are pushing me from my mid. And Soviet, are, Soviet player is helping him. These guys are really in trouble. And they will book it as soon as they can. Uh, we will form a defensive position here. These guys have a wrong order. So we'll be backing them off. And we'll just be grinding here with the enemy. There is no push from the north. Here we dispatch these penals and we have uh, these guys on the run. And now I lock in Luftwaffe Supply Doctrine. Why did I do that? Obviously, if you ever played Germans like competitively and you have a unit like that, this unit is trash. They, they don't have health points, they'll just die to a, a fucking fart or, I don't know, a rock thrown in their general direction. Like, we either have to you give them a boring job, or we have to wait for a medical bunker, and this would slow us down. And look, we are fighting right now. We cannot afford this unit to be useless. So we are quickly dropping the supplies. Be careful where, where you drop them, because <coughs> allies will always try to steal them, remember that. And we have healed the unit almost instantly, and they even have a defensive buff. But this buff really adds up, and I'll be showing that here. Uh... Yeah, we'll dispatch these conscripts really quickly. We have advantage. We have a second unit that is also healed and we'll be going it. Here, penals come into us. We have to finish these conscripts. We do that. Now we have to grind with penals. And if you ever played with against penals, you know that from up close they are deadly. They will shred your infantry to pieces. And my guys, look, they are handling the situation fairly fine. Still, like, eh, risky, but... I would lose that fight if I didn't have this buff. So yeah, we got ourselves more guys. Take a look that I'm not taking up, I'm saving money. We'll be buying a lot of expensive things soon. Here I'll uh, re replenish these guys. Pioneers were initially sent here, but we'll be backing them off. We are buying them a flamer and we'll be using them as an offensive unit. Just so we have something, some more on the board. The Soviets are doing the same with their flamethrower. They have two penal squads and conscript. <coughs> we have three grenadiers. Also, as shown here, this med kit, it's only one uh, supply box, but it affects all the units in the area. So with one box you can heal as many infantry as you want. You just can, you can also, it applies the buff to everyone. So really nice. It's almost tempting to tro drop this... Uh, in like a middle of the map where you can just pick it up as the fight begins. Here you can see what happens to Grenadier units that had low HP. Uh, they died before I finished that sentence even. We are pushing, we have a nice chunk of infantry, we have flamer. The buff wear off unfortunately. As soon as I can I put that uh, officer on the board. <coughs> we want that unit in. It's fucking amazing. It's always worth buying. Here our flamer is taking that fuel. Soviets are pushing us. We'll try to whittle them down with our superior firepower. <coughs> Here he drops in the explosive bag. I back off. I thought that this guy would survive and he didn't turns out. It's not a problem. I have so much money in the bank that I'm just buying second grenadier unit as goes. And we're grinding against these guys. We are fairly close to having three command points. Uh, my teammate is here helping. He outplayed this British somehow. I don't know what happened there. I guess this build doesn't work as much as he would. He even... Yeah, like, yellow has much more infantry. The British just bought some... I don't know what. Not, not good stuff. I'm there. Anyway, Soviets are cut. We got ourselves the officer. We're dropping ourselves the stuff. We get resources, machine gun pack, and this pack is really worth it, good for us. We are using our pioneers to pick up these things because uh, the unit created from these pioneers, they still cost the same amount of uh, resources to reinforce. 
so to keep these costs as low as we can we use pioneers to pick it up if i would be using grenadiers or some other units it would cost me 30 and this cost would add up in the long run and especially that take a look we had so much money and we spent it all so yeah and we are in a full blow the soviets are much weaker they have three infantry units we have machine gun flamethrower squad uh, officer that's amazing that's like mini shock troops uh, strength wise and take a look how much in abilities he has that shock troop doesn't and we have like three grand units they are and they are vetted like mm, we are in a full, full swing we have even similar amount of resources that the soviets do and he was doing the same thing that we did he was just throwing men at us but we, our doctrine made our life so easier that we could just uh, come out, come on top with that. Same amount of resources, same amount of units, but we are winning. Well, not same, I have more guys. And consider, I lost one unit here to this explosive charge. Here comes an Ayak, will take uh, one unit of us and send it to base anytime soon. Come on. And we have to, yeah, we are booking it to pick up this pack. We'll be fighting this Ayak. Here, Soviet got uh, themselves this huge mortar and we are in grave danger. We'll try to Panzerfaust this Ayak to buy ourselves some time. <clears throat> we will also try to drop a quick teller to Panzerfaust to this guy. I'll try to just deal as much damage here and just book it. We are dropping this teller that I promised you. We have a bunker and a machine gun here in the defense. The Stellars goes off as soon as we put it up. We are going, we're finally taking up now, ten, 8 minutes into the game, and 9 to be honest, and we are dropping ourselves a bunker because eventually we will need it. Soviets are pushing. Oh, lag! Sorry. Oh, there it goes. Uh, and we will just heal, heal everyone, and get that pack on. I have the machine gun still frying them. I will heal these guys. We heal everyone else with these uh, medical supplies that we are defending against the Soviets. Soviets use conscripts there. Here our bunker is slowing down the Allied advance and they're moving into the middle. And from there we will attack this soft underbelly, this cutoff, and maybe we'll try to take down that mortar. Here I drop myself some smoke. Consider that these planes are fairly slow and Soviet uh, just leaves. Uh, by now I have that pack, this guy is Panzerfaust. This mortar really ugly shot for us there, but happens. I kindly forgot that there is this this uh, mortar. Uh, I'm dropping, trying to use this, uh, this strafing run, but uh, we miss and our plane got shot off. British have this infantry here and mm, so ugly, they still fucking grind us. And also there are these penals and this mortar is shelling us, but I want to defend this pack. We are playing against AI by now, it's over, but still, like, this game is intense. Yeah, I'm trying to fend off these penals, they are doing some AI brain thingy. We gun them down, there is these guys, I'm kinda like, no. Back off, okay, fine. And I'm telling to my teammates, just get that pack, fucking keep going, we have to keep, keep pushing. I'll just get myself something else. Uh, I'm taking up for this, this Panzer 4, but this game is over by now. We'll just heal, resend our guys, and just grind them down. These conscripts are completely destroyed. Uh, the British still has some stuff, like a mortar, mortar pit stuff, but uh, yeah, my guy is really doing injustice. Also, why why does he has a mortar and a mortar pit at the same time? And they also got that mortar. Like it's it's not this stage of the games yet. And we just had a really good punching force of infantry. We can really play this map how it's called Karhov, yeah, uh, really aggressively with uh, plenty of infantry. If your enemy doesn't manage to dig in, also these gentlemen forgot that they kind of need a machine gun if they want to do that. So our force of infantry could just grind through them. We'll be destroying this uh, uh, mortar pit. My ga my friend got himself a Panzer IV. I'm just like whatever. No, I'm just going. Fuck. Uh, escalate to battle phase three. 
so yeah, they will give up any second now. You get that pack back. And yeah, that's it. The British surrenders. Uh, let's take a look on the final stats. We were shooting down AI for a while. We have quite odd stats, like 63 to 42. It's not that great, but this game took only 13 minutes and look on the Soviet, he got totally destroyed. Here is our personnel. The Grenadiers, obviously, best unit. Plenty of kills. Luftwaffe officer did use three abilities, that's fair. Uh, I don't know. We can take a look on the graph. We just had a little bit more units and we were just doing the same thing, constantly spending money. If you take a look, we didn't have to. this is like the spikes I got from like saving on these uh, supply drops and officer. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Didn't have any vehicle. Yeah, the stats if you're interested in that. Um, so yeah, uh, cheers.